Oh, hey, it worked. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tabletop Fables, uh, our Star Wars game, Edge of the Empire, uh, also known as Dangerous Beasts and How to Hire Them. Uh, let me introduce you to the Dangerous Beast for today, but first I'll need to pass on the apologies for Nikki. She's unable to make it today, so we wish her all the best, and she'll be here next week. Uh, so, Jacob, would you like to start? Hello, I'm Jacob, and uh, I'll be playing Ripper. I'm playing a wiki bounty hunter. If you don't know what a wiki looks like, uh, it's a giant ape man with hair. <laughs> lots and lots of hair. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ishtar. I am playing Lucky Brick, a Triani pilot. She is a calico cat who is like two meters tall and wears a jumpsuit. Uh, hi, I'm Caleb. I am playing the I'm playing Bist, who is a boffin slicer. Uh, they're kind of like dog people, and he's always seen his signature like orange puffer jacket and a seven piercing through his nose. Hi, I'm Mark. I play Ribet. He is a Satari bounty hunter. Uh, hide gun, not quite a bounty hunter yet. <laughs> they're a race of uh, giant anthropomorphic birds, so about two meters tall, very big, pretty, lots of feathers. Um, yeah, he generally wears sort of like a ratty, tattered trench coat over some more like hide or leather, like a tunic of sorts. Um, generally seen lots of guns strapped to him, so. And uh, Nikki plays Dr. Gemini, a Lerman uh, medico uh, colonist. Um, doctor. Doctor. <laughs> has a certain amount of cybernetics. If you imagine a cross between a Lima and Rocket from um, Guardians <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy, but with a few less guns, but uh, with his cybernetics, then uh, less it's a good guns, bet. more healing sticks. Yeah, yeah. and drugs. And so, you might have guessed where we got the the name from, considering everyone's an anthropomorphic something. <laughs> um, well. So last time uh, in our session zero, um, the party escaped Nashadar after getting the ire of one of the local hut lords. Um, they don't quite know why, they just sort of found one of the enforcers following him around, beat him up, tied him up, and then someone who shall remain nameless shot him, and then they decided it's probably the best bet to flee. During the process of fleeing, um, through some amazing um, side going sideways uh, in t through a wall, <laughs> and then um, a series of dodging and diving uh, through the the, the city um, moon of Narshada. Uh the ship got quite shot up before they managed to reach attitude and um, hyper jump or to or light, go, light, go to light speed and flee. Um, one of the places uh, that they had um, a navigational point to was Point Remus, a shadow port where they'd hoped to get their ship repaired. Uh, when inside, they um, had the sheer huge amount of damage looked at and uh, been quoted 20,000 credits, which is touch more than the party has. <laughs> a little bit. <clears throat> so, um, at the start of every game, we make a couple of rolls um, to see uh, who has these little pieces of order and these little rocks, as I call them. <laughs> so, uh, destiny points. Um, so, at the moment, it's pretty even. Uh, we also roll to see who has their obligations come up. This uh, game, it is Rubik. Oh, fuck. So <laughs> I'm shooting probably because this is the first time he's been away from the gang for a few years. Yes. Yeah. So it's and probably first time leaving the planet in quite a while. Mm. Mm. So um, you've been quite annoying to everyone, so everyone has two strain and you have four. Oh. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> um, Alright. So they're on board the. The Wayward Traveller. The Wayward Traveller. Um, Lucky's ship. <laughs> it's mine. I got it fair and square through theft. <coughs> <coughs> and um, the uh, mechanic who greeted them as they landed called uh, Twitcher, who's a, um, a Twi'lek who has these long Liku, the, the snake-like things at the back, because they just keep on non-stop twitching uncontrollably. No, he has left them alone for the moment. So what are you guys doing in this hangar and repair shop that is far too large for your ship? <laughs> well, it's probably going to be a good idea to try and get some coin. Some coin? That sounds good. 
We could perhaps check on those merchants that we encountered last time if they're encountering more trouble. That's a good idea. I also realize it's not actually called coin here, it's called credits. Ignore the fact I said coin. We use coins at my home, though. It's small. Very metallic things. Where are you boys from that uses coins? I mean, you know, you use coins when you're gambling. You use them as the token. You use chips. Yeah, the coin. Other times our hunters would come and trade the uh, pelts of the native creatures and wildlife and, you know, mushrooms that we'd harvest as well. Is that not something that... You know what, let's do? just let's just go get credits. I'm not having this argument with you. <laughs> <laughs> credits. <laughs> yeah, let's go get credits. Hmm. Do you think we should check out those people again, or... It, it might not go so well. I think give it, like, a little bit of headspace, and then if they start acting up, then go deal with it. Yeah. We'll try and sell the sacks again. <laughs> well, good luck. Give it another shot. Good luck. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> roll streetwise. Uh, difficulty two. First roll of the campaign. No mm. pressure. And um, two black dice, because you have tried to sell it already, and uh, it is also stamped with the logo of... Difficulty two? Difficulty two, yes. Uh, I will upgrade one of the difficulties to a challenge. Mm. Well, good luck, buddy. I'll upgrade one of mine to yellow. <laughs> Put it right back. Oh dear. So the dice system for this uh, system is uh, fairly different to the standard D20. Uh, it's a lot of custom dice. We'll probably talk about it on and off. Um, yeah, the sheet you want is this one. If you want to know more about it in general, mm -hmm. um, I'll talk about it maybe the next week on Discord. Uh, Discord server if you're interested. I think you have four successes but three threats. Yeah. Oh, she Does he finally get to sell? They got four successes <laughs> but three threats. <laughs> I mean, good on selling. Well, oh, that's subjective. <laughs> um, sure. Now I just need to know how much it's worth. <laughs> you weren't expecting this to be able to. I wasn't to expecting you to succeed at this. <laughs> That's what we were checking for. Because it's like, how, how often have you failed so far? <laughs> yeah. That's why I want to buy it. <laughs> but do you want to go with him? Uh, no. No, I'm sure he can handle it. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll go with him. I don't want to be stuck with the other two right now. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I have oh, a wait, conscience. I, about coins. I have a conscience. <laughs> so far. I, I hope to stay with that conscience. For a while. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, we're, we're uh, uh, cool. Can you roll me? Uh, so you find uh, a small little uh, deeper into the market. You find a yeah another sort of weapons area. Yeah. You find a, a sketchy looking uh, human who seems willing to buy it. Um, can you roll negotiation? Yeah. And that's going to be difficulty too. Uh, well, I got one advantage, but I failed. Um, yeah, he's only going to give you 200 credits for it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it's finally gone. <laughs> <laughs> See, me, he pulls out like a plasma torch and starts scoring the marks. Oh. Of <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, buddy. <laughs> <sighs> Where'd you get it from? It's yeah, so I just found it on the street. I suppose you have any frag grenades. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, I don't, so. Alright, I'll leave. So while they're gone, mm -hmm. um, you two sort of sitting around discussing. Yeah, discussing, I suppose, our home worlds and past experiences. Yeah! yeah. And um, you see, uh, not too much. Yeah. A, um, just a couple of like toughs come into the place. You recognise them for they are. They're just pretty low level muscle. Okay. Um, followed by a Toydarian. So, rather, if you know Watto from the first episode, no. he's the guy who <laughs> owns Anakin Skywalker. So they're fairly small, very port belly, a couple of wings. They tend to hover around. Oh, the things that look like a half melted piece of ice cream. 
I mean, that doesn't narrow down too much, but yes. <laughs> um, have a trunk nose. So yes. 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 Comes in, in even for Cordaria, very, very portly, um, on mm. like a little hover chair, like a little oh. dais. Um, it's all very shiny, and um, it's got like a little scepter in his hand with a gel on it. It's shiny, it never touches the ground. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sort of vaguely gesturing with this almost wand like thing, and he's headed towards you guys. He's got like a cigar and <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of heavy jewels across his hands and receiving like some like gold piercings across his wings. Is this space Hugh Hefner? Don't kill him. Probably more yeah. moralistic. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Do you think we'd be out in the cockpit or <laughs> cockpit or? I think we'd be like on the on sort of landing pad. We'd probably be on the landing pad because I'd be leaning up like on the landing gear, mm. right. like the really chill leaning back, full yeah. Top Gun kind of level. Yeah. <clears throat> I imagine so, Rivek will just kind of <coughs> look over at Bucky and just be like, get one of these guys. Like, what do you think they're here for? Ooh, Mr. Fancy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see uh, Twitcher sort of hurry up and sort of stand behind in a slightly differential spot. Mm-hmm. And sort of, so he's, who's the pilot of this firing ship? Who's asking? Uh, I am. <laughs> You didn't think of a name, did you? <laughs> no, I did. I just didn't write it down. I am Bordo. Okay, Bordo. Why are you asking? Ah, uh, well, just so happens I'm in need of a racer. And my friend here tells me you're in need of some credits. Oh, but what's the race? Ah, uh, what's the race? What's the race? To celebrate Boon Eve, the huts like to sponsor a series of races around the place. And here, it's a dash in fighters around the asteroid belt and the planet below. That's not a bad race route. Anyone you can survive <laughs> that storm you came through. Yeah. Well, I'm in need of a pilot. You got a ship? Yep. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Alright. I'm the pilot. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Is your friend coming? Yeah. Yeah. How much are you paying us? Well, mm, that's a good question, isn't it? Depends who wins. Depends who wins. But the pilot share, if you win, will be enough to pay for repairs here. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a win. Mm. Lead the way. Uh, he does. Um, does anybody? You guys probably get back around that time. Yeah. See his group going past. Mm-hmm. One is going. His name's Bardo. He needs a pilot for a race. Do I even want to know? It's a race. He's offering us enough credits to fix the ship, you know, if we win. Drive uh, fast, don't get wins. hit, don't die, it's easy. I know what a race is. It's, it's literally, <laughs> you're in a ship, you're competing against other people on the same course, I, and you go what, fast. I know what a race is. <laughs> Cautious. I've been racing for years, this is fine. Maybe, but I don't trust that guy. That's why I'm going to check his ship first. Hmm. That's probably quite wise back there. I wouldn't trust me either. <laughs> you get corny laughter from the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> like actual laughter, or is this clearly forced crony laughter? Crony laughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were a crony bounty hunter. You know <laughs> crony laughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So eventually, you um, reach uh, a different hangar. This one's uh, much smaller. Um, as you head in, you notice that there's a series of um, uh, defensive weapons emplacements. There's like generally a defensive grid around the whole place. Hmm. You go and you see a very sleek um, type of fighter you don't recognise. Um, it actually looks custom made. So hmm. Two very sharp angular points towards the front. A dual person cockpit. Two angular points to come behind. Some powerful uh, dual ion engines. Ooh. Generally quite flat, thin. 
as I'm two meters tall, I can definitely fit fine. Um, <laughs> you have up and have a look, and yes. Okay, great. That's <laughs> the most important check. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it looks like it's set up for a different pilot. You just recognise that. Um, the pilot looks like they would have been a slightly shorter than you. Like slightly, slightly, like mm. you know, like about a half probably, meter. <laughs> oh, how, you're what two? Two point, meters. Yeah, probably slightly shorter than you. 20, 30 centimeters. Mm. I Meaning on the grand scheme of things, <laughs> <laughs> considering there's like a guy who's three feet tall floating next to you. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you catch like a bit of the scent of the smoke, you know, your vision blurs slightly. Just for a bit second. Glad I'm wearing goggles. <laughs> you can't see me blink. So, so what do you say? Hmm, I'm gonna start like checking over all the parts to make sure it's not booby trapped. <laughs> so why do you need a pilot exactly? Ah, uh, tragic tale, tragic tale. An accident befell my last one. Has to be an accident because uh, pilots once they're registered, the sacrosanct. Same with the ships. There was a problem in the past. Well, their lives are sacrosanct. Right. Checking over the engine. Um, yeah, mechanics. Alrighty. Difficulty two. A couple of the guys are hanging out off your, your weapon ring, same with you. Hmm. Like, they have just sort of. They wish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll just go and give them a nod back. Well, these guys don't look incompetent or, you know, poorly. That's physical. good. They don't look uh, threatening, do they? Like, in a threatening manner towards. No, no. Okay. Very much the opposite. Good. I have um, three failures and an advantage, I think. <laughs> this um, is fine. I just dropped a die. You find nothing. I find nothing wrong. Including, you don't find an engine, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing here. Uh, do you need a hand up there? Wouldn't mind one. I've not seen this kind of ship before. Alright, hang on, let me at least, you know, load everything off. The problem as you go through it, the advantage is this, yeah, it's a completely uh, bespoke custom made ship. Not something I've ever seen before in all the ships I've trained in. I'm gonna in. have a check over and make sure it's got everything it would need. Certainly. Difficulty. Uh, everything it would need, yeah, difficulty too. Yep. Make sure the engine's full. <laughs> Sweet. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, one success, an advantage, and a, a triumph. One success, an advantage, and a triumph. Yeah. Uh, you look over it, um, you see that uh, it is in quite good shape. Um, it has been around for a while. Um, there are some minor things you could do to improve it, especially if you were um, in co pilot seat. <laughs> um, it has shields. Uh, it doesn't have. It looks like. Um, there's a modular component part at the front where you can either have guns or a like tractor beam, like to sort of repulsor beam. Right. Um, you do see uh, some micro scoring from like micro asteroids and things like that. So it's definitely been raced before. Okay. Um, so it it does have the gun and the tractor beam thing, or it, it well, it has like a has, it has a rail. It looks like um, just from how like the various power sources and stuff. Right. You look like. It currently has a, like a repulsor beam at the front. Okay. And looking around, you can see that there is like the gun to install. Okay. All right. It's got everything you need. It's got a couple of things that can make it better. I need to be in the co-pilot seat. Mm. Oh come on! It's fast. It's fun going fast. Is it now? Yeah. Oh god. It makes you feel alive. I guess it'd be safer when those huts were shooting at us. Uh, that makes you feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's for money. I'll do it for money. I swear to God, if you get us killed, I am going to bring you back to life and kill you myself. I mean, if we're both dead, you can just kill me again in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to 
to have a second person in a ship. Uh, yeah, there's normally the dumb thing. Someone's got to plot the route to fly and you know, activate the... <coughs> activate the shields. Yeah, them. Yeah, the defense. Sorry, I'm betting on you to win, not to crash. It's yeah. got them at least. Hmm. All right, fine. I will sit in the co-pilot seat. Yeah. Hmm. So the race is in three days. All right. Uh, Twitcher here will start getting repaired, your ship repaired. Um, and yeah, uh, feel free to come and go at my leisure. I'll have some good food sent your way. Do you I have the list of the other races just so you can get an idea of what we're going up against? I do, yes. Um, there is. Well, uh, there's a guy called uh, Griever. Uh, Captain Griever. He's the head of the XM security. He likes to uh, pilot himself. Hmm. Um, Heliest Bits. Sorry? Heliest Bits. <laughs> You're laughing at the Twilix name. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's the um, sister of the facilities administrator. Uh, they tend to win. They tie themselves into the um, asteroid warning grid so they get like automated maps. Very annoying, very annoying. That sounds like cheating. Nah. It's not cheating. There's not many rules. Not cheating. Um, <laughs> some new guy, new guy signed up, some lieutenant and some military force. I don't know much about him. I haven't had a chance to investigate yet. I have a stimulation as well. I need a test ride to make sure I can fly her properly, get a yeah. feel for her. It's all filled up, go for it. Alright, I'm going to slide in. <laughs> yeah. uh, you slide in, um, how... I'm going to start by adjusting the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back. You don't need me for a test ride, right? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Good I didn't need to see how she handles. Just make a basic piloting <clears throat> check. Okay. Any negatives? Um, depends how complicated you're trying to be. Is this piloting planetary or space? Space. Uh, so are you trying to basically go through the asteroids and do a dry run of what you'd have to do, or are you just... I'll do a dry run. Make sure I get an idea for what it's going to do at space. Alright, the difficulty of that, uh, it's a speed 4 ship, silhouette. Uh, will be three, so uh, is two and two. So, two challenge and two uh, difficulty. Yeah. And plane ships is hard. And two mm -hmm. black. But I believe you get rid of one of them. Just because you're flying through asteroids. Well, around them. Uh, Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> Not least don't fly into them. We need the ship to, to raise. I have two ranks, so it gets rid of both. Oh, yep. Ah, the red ones have nothing. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we have got ourselves Hey cheat sheet. I'm still learning the rules. We still are all learning the rules. We have awesome cheat sheets. Thank you, Caleb. They're amazing. Alright. <laughs> Wait, which way am I pointing? And the opposite way from who you are. <laughs> Camera's looking at the upside down. Uh, so we have three successes. Oh, thank God she didn't crash. <laughs> uh, three health successes is the opposite of crashing. We crashed the first time we flew a ship. To be fair, she didn't actually Look, off that the first time. was yeah. crashed. Look, to be fair, that was because we were getting shot at. Yes. <laughs> um, so you don't floor up the second you turn it on? Well, yeah, because I'm I, smart. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, you take her for a test spin around the asteroids. Um, Just to see how she handles on all the corners. Yep, so you fly around uh, the local sector of the core system <coughs> where you are currently at. It handles very well. Uh, this thing, well, it could take the guns and the, the repulsor at the front. Um, it's not built for combat or anything like that. All its resources from the engine, speed, handling, uh, shields. 
This thing is quick. Hmm. Uh, I like fast. Okay, alright. Can you roll computers? <laughs> You. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just like, I'm just like, what's <laughs> computers for? Computers! Difficulty three. Please. Hmm. That is... Those cancel. So we have two successes and three threats. Oh. Hmm. Um, you're going to take... Uh, three strain. Okay. As another ship just buzzes you. <laughs> well. <laughs> Came from nowhere, and this, as you watch it after you spotted it, um, this pilot is incredible. <laughs> um, in a ship with two sort of forward sloping wings, central cockpit, uh, quite small, quite fast. Well, it's not that small, but it's very fast. <laughs> ship breezes past, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what knowledges do you have? My knowledges are Underworld. Roll just flat intelligence, difficulty two. Okay, that's just two green. Yep. Alright, so we have... That cancels that. That cancels that. So we have a failure and an advantage. So, yeah, as you... Fly around the ship, buzzes you, buzzes you again. Um, you get quite a good look at it. Um, yeah, two sort of triangular pointed wings, forward, arc around, gaps in the middle, uh, central spherical uh, pod angles out. Mm. Uh, you don't recognise it though. Gonna make a note of that and ask someone else. <clears throat> what are you guys doing while you're, you're waiting? Um, okay guys, so we've got three days, we've got to figure out as much as we can about the other three people who are flying in this race. I'm specifically right. interested in this Helios Bix, because if we've got to win, we've probably got to take out her computers on a ship. Is that right. fair? We're not to do that? Did it sound like everything's fair? Did you hear the the fat lard with the thing in his mouth? I'm sorry, I zoned out. I thought a bug round was talking. <laughs> <coughs> I'm trying to do people a favour, I'm grateful. <laughs> well, if you want to find races, we could start in the cantina. Maybe get them mm. drunk a little bit, maybe they'll um, tell us what we want to know. I agree, we should go to the cantina. <coughs> yeah. Alright, well you two are going to the cantina, I'm going to try and make a spike for you two, as I'm probably going to need to be on the ship, so that just before the race you're able to shove it in her friggin' ship, so that her computers won't give her a map. Alright. Alright, so we'll need to find out what kind of ship she's flying. And where she keeps it. Yes. Alright. Don't fuck it up. Because I'd rather not have to race. Hmm. So you're not racing? Then who's going on the ship? Yeah, we'll just go find it. Go find them. Go. Go. Alright. Both of you, go. Go get me the information now. Please. <laughs> what information, please? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Officer, one information, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you two follow this instruction? Yeah, no, we seems don't have reasonable. Has there some sort of music player in the cantina? Um, <laughs> yeah, you go and find like the local uh, the cantina closest to like the hangars on the outside of this area. <laughs> um, yes, there is music playing. Uh, it's not anything particularly like modern or good. Or you know anything you like. I go find out what it was this coming from and I change it. <laughs> uh, you go over and um, you see a, he's a, like a hollow box and um, uh, it costs five credits to change the song. I change the song. Yep. You don't have to go and buy like some sort of special jukebox chip to change it or anything like that. You just put credits in like a sensible thing yep. <laughs> from like thousands of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you put it uh, credits in, start it off, and your favorite song starts playing. So a couple of people in, a in the room look around, just like roll their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been desensitized to to music, music yet. Music. <laughs> but yeah, you do see there's a lot of like uh, spaces around here. Uh, the couple of people who are looking 
uh, at you it's sort of side eye mm. you recognise okay. uh, from that freighter from before uh, yeah. <laughs> ah the pirates yeah yeah Pirate. I briefly will kind of wander over to him, kind of looking about to him. Bartender, drinks. You know, me and my friends here. And he'll just kind of like sit down next to them. <laughs> yeah, so how's how's it going? So the bartender brings over some rum for everyone. Yeah. Um, do you know? tend to look up at you. Yeah. Um, fine. That's good. That's good. We're not giving you more money. Oh no no that's all right we. My friends, it's all right. After last time, I think we we got to know each other pretty well. Uh, got to know you better than we wanted to. <laughs> yeah, most people say that. So, do you follow the races by any chance? <laughs> Are you trying to charm them? No. <laughs> I don't of... think he's trying to unsettle them. Yeah, uh, they're all just coercion. Okay. <laughs> sure. Just, just see. So you... Getting them talking. Yeah, I suppose it is kind of different to how he was acting last time. Unsettlement. Charm or coercion? Look at of coercion. Uh, so, one and one. Okay. I will upgrade See how this goes. Ooh, well, we're up to good stuff. So, I saw the spicy boy. Yeah, the spicy boy indeed. But the good for us spicy boy, not the oh. pretty spicy boy. Mm, yeah. yeah, there's also the other not so good spicy boys. No, there's a lot of spicy boys. Mm. A variety of yeah, it's a whole have... spice rack. <laughs> <laughs> we have no successes. We have two advantages and a triumph. Uh, you can take into account the triumph yes. success. Yes. Um, triumph without <laughs> success. <laughs> uh. With each other, and it's like, we're not talking to you about this. Oh. Would you like to speak to my friend over there? He gestures to Robert at the jukebox. Are you dancing? I am. Is my friend someone better to talk to? <clears throat> yeah. I, look, this, Destro told us not to get into any trouble. Because. Uh, Thanks to you guys, he now has to fly his buddy rabbits. Does he? You think he'd enjoy that rather than being stuck in that hangar of yours? Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> they sort of look at each other just like, Is he not a very good pilot? Be here if he wants. <laughs> and he's like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. Yeah, he'll just kind of finish his drink, then sort of wander off to see if there are any, like, obvious racer-looking people. By racer, uh, someone wearing a jumpsuit that looks kind of bright colours. <laughs> so it catches the eye. <laughs> yes. Very obvious. Yeah. Yeah. All pilots wear jumpsuits. That's just our aesthetic. Yes. Not all the maintenance people and That's all those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the pilot jumpsuits are different. <laughs> uh, no. No. Um, if you're looking to just ask around. Yeah, yeah probably. That's uh, Ross Streetwise. Sure. No, I'm not. Uh, any difficulty on that one? one? Uh, difficulty one. One. It's top of the town at the moment. Uh, for oh. crying out loud. One advantage. <laughs> no, no success that time. Uh, yeah, no. No success. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Yeah. Here's one right. So you eventually fly back into the hangar. Uh, most of the people have left. Um, uh, Bordo is gone. I mean, his people by the time you get back, you're sort of just there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to stop a computer and a ship from taking maps. Um, Redirect them to me. Yeah. Cool. I will begin on making a spike for that because I don't believe they can hack very well. Yeah, fair enough. Reasonable um, assumption. Very reasonable assumption. <laughs> <laughs> we can have, uh, can have I will say that you can make the spike. Yeah. The roll that is relevant for this will happen at the critical time. Yeah, that's fine. Because mm. just for dr yeah. dramatic that's, services. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so how did, the, how did your uh, test flight go? 
Ugh, I think it went well. Um, there was another ship that went past, though. I don't know who it was. It's a really cool ship. Really fast, though. I might actually be in for a run for my money. Oh, crap. What does that one look like? So at least I know what else we need to take out. Uh, I then described the ship as you described it to me, with, like, the nice angles and the mm -hmm. doohickeys at the side bits. Uh, what are your... I've got uh, Outer Rim and Underworld are the ones I've got ranked in. Um, my class proficiency is also education. I don't uh, have any ranks in it though. I'll say, yeah, difficulty, what did I say, it was three? Um, outer Rim. Okay. Mm. Oh, sure. Two, one, three. Um, oh boy, that wasn't great. Uh, 3,005 advantage. Oof. Hmm. 3,005 advantage. <laughs> How much did you... Uh, you um, don't know what it is. Um, but off that stupidly high amount of advantage, <laughs> um, you start to describe, like, the colouring and so forth a bit more and some of the more major aesthetics of it. And while you don't recognise it exactly, it sounds like it's similar to a TIE fighter. It's in that school of ships. Um, sorry, what colours did you say it was again? Go through the colours. Mm, so sort of, yeah, grey with the, the panels on the side, which are, look like the solar panels. But there's a couple of red stripes on it. It sounds like an Imperial ship. Yeah, that's the first I'd pull too. Well, if there's an Imperial ship yeah, here, that shouldn't be hard to find, so I'll at least get the other two to look out for it while they try and find the other people in this race. I hope they're not competing. They had a really good ship. Well, if they're competing, we'll just have to, I don't know, cut off their engine or something before they start. If they're competing, just shoot them while I fly. We don't have a gun on here yet. You can just put it on. Okay. I mean, we'll go slower, but it depends how much we want to be safe. Was it just the gun that was in here, or did it, was there also that other piece? Of There's also the, the, the repulsor. It's more a case if you have one or the other. Okay. The, the repulsor acts similar to a... Well, it's like a reverse tractor beam, essentially. Cool. It's if you want to send, like, it would help you, like, plow through more mm -hmm. dense areas and so forth. Well, instead of using a gun on him, because it's a little obvious and it slows us down, if we continue with what's on there, I could reverse the polarity on this thing, so it will pull him into an asteroid instead of pushing it away. I like that. That's good. Do that. Oh god, why am I going to do this? I can't aim for shit. You don't have to aim very well. You just have to hit him into something big. <laughs> like... There's no aiming involved if it's something big. Uh, look, just... Look, I just hope that we don't need to do this. Might not even be competing. Hopefully it's not competing. Hopefully... It's probably going to be competing. Let's at least try and find the other two. Hopefully they've got some good news. Hopefully. <sighs> you, I believe most of you have communicators. Yes, we probably. Yeah. All right, where are you two? Please tell me you've got good news for me. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the song. <laughs> it's always that song. Yeah. I, I am looking for uh, some sort of pilot. I swear that's the only thing in his head. Rebecca will kind of show up in on the communicator. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't had much luck. We ran into our friends from the hangar before, so we're thinking we check out some of the hangars on the way back. Tell me if you see anything Imperial looking. Imperial looking. Please tell me you know what Imperial means. The silence makes me think he doesn't. Does he live on a rock? It's either he doesn't know, or he's keeping Something silent. Something that looks like blah. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep an eye out. There we go. All four of them. <laughs> and I'll let you know. I've got my good three eyes on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fourth one is so not foolish. Um, you do know what Imperial ships look like. No. Do I see any pilots in the bar? Uh, not beyond the ones he's trying to speak to already. Right. Oh, I mean, no, sorry. You do see random pilots in the bar. Like you see, like, crews of ships and so forth. Mm. Ah, some random dude if you notice if any other pilots in the race are in here. So looks around. Uh, don't think so, uh, friend. 
Um, <laughs> uh, I think they tend to mainly stick to their own areas. And um, where would they be? I'm not from here, I don't know. Uh, Does it look like he's from here? No, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't look like many, anyone in here is from here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I get rid of him and I go talk to the what passes for a bartender. Yep. So you head up. There's a guy who's doing the universal bartending thing of yep. cleaning a glass. Cleaning the same clean glass. So he but he's using it. like some sort of like vibro brush. <laughs> I think it's clean. Drive a tenner. Yeah. Got a sharp eye there on you. Pick up another one. <laughs> you want to happen to know where the race is? <coughs> Where the pilots are. Ah, make a um, charm check. <laughs> yeah, charm. Yeah, yes. it's it's one down. Oh my god, terrible. A difficulty one because he's pretty willing to go with information, but uh, one setback, guys, because you're a rude to him. I'll upgrade one to a yellow. Hmm. <laughs> we don't need those when we're flying. No. We must certainly. Congrats, you hecked yourself. I did. It's not no success. One success and one threat. Uh, yeah, well, um, Reva drinks up, uh, up at the rest of the security forces. Um, yeah. Call it the rear admiral, the bar there. <laughs> It's not funny. Yes, it kind of is funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about the others. <laughs> I think one of those guys might be one. He points to like the, the crew, the jewel pigeon. Right. <laughs> 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 I go find Ruth. Yeah, I, sure. I found someone who's supposed to be at the solo bar. Alright, we're gonna music. Let's go there. Yeah, let's go. On the way, he'll um, describe to Rupert. Uh, Bist mentions we should be on the lookout for an Imperial ship. Ah, uh, yeah. Be in the race. He'll kind of describe that. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Um. So, on the way up, uh, can you just roll perception? Both of us, or um, we got a vague description. So yeah, difficulty yeah. three. Can you do two setback dice? Just sure. <laughs> Being ignorant. <laughs> Wait, so am I also with Sephiroth Guys? Or just no, just you, know. You, you know what, you've seen Imperial ships. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. difficulty 2 with 2 setback dice. Yeah. Sounds good. So difficulty 2. Alright. I'll, I'll believe. Mm. No, that's a Wunder. <laughs> <laughs> I have a press. <laughs> no, that's a Wunder. Aren't yeah. they all the same? Mm. <laughs> I got a success and an advantage. And you do not see this form of magical sky chariot. So, <laughs> that's a shame. <laughs> um, for the record, this character thinks of technology as magic. Um, how much did you, what did you get? One success and one advantage. You don't see an Imperial ship, but Hangar 2, uh, as you go past it on the way up to the Rear Admiral, you do see that there are a couple of stormtroopers outside. But those are Imperial guys. Don't worry, you can't hit shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, damn you! And everyone's like, you're looking at the wall! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we continue to the rear admiral. Yeah, we'll yes. check out that place. Yes. A wall on the way there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you reach this, uh, you see this bar, it, like everything here, it's dug deeper in, deep into the asteroid. So it's not like it's a building per se, it's like a, a cabin that's been stylized. Um, and this is a definite sort of paramilitary feel to it. Um, okay. Almost bordering on outright military. So you see people wearing like fatigues, uh, like just like casually, they're all off duty. Um, as you head inside, you see like weapons on the walls. Uh, they're probably like, most of them look older. They're probably not functional and the like. Um, you see a lot of drunk uh, enlisted people. Well, you assume for this area, they have been. Uh, you do see that there is some segregation. There are like offices to like sort of slightly fancier area. Uh, you see, there's a lot of just the standard people around. Most people are armed in some way. Hmm. You should go find the pilot. I'm gonna go change the music. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, there's a sort of an upbeat military thing song at the moment <laughs> playing. Uh, <yeah. laughs> uh, 
but <laughs> uh, you go up, um, you put the credits in the machine, uh, you go through, and eventually you find the newer song, which is uh, that one, the Cantina song. What, what, what was it called? The actual name of it? God damn, I don't, the newer one? I don't know what the newer one's called. <sighs> Not the original Cantina song. It's what they said it was called, I can't remember that. No. <laughs> right I lost the modal nodes, but I can't remember the. Yeah, that. Um, and the what you know, what, please let us know. <laughs> yeah, if anyone in the it's chat knows important. what that song is called, drop it in the chat and we'll be able to say it after the break. Um, so, yeah, you change the song. <laughs> um, you just make a coercion check. <laughs> Oh, and I'm going to upgrade uh, difficulty three, but one of them will be upgraded. Yeah. It's just to see how much you annoy the crowd. Mm. Mm. One failure. <laughs> um, you uh, excuse the pun, ruffle some feathers. Yeah. Um, that would be factored in if you try to interact with the rest of the group of people here. Excellent, which I'm just about to do. Because <laughs> well, we've walked in together. Unfortunately, it took him a moment to find the list. Oh, okay. The last one on the list, so. All right. You don't get the negative yet. <laughs> no, no. Well, Rebecca will kind of head over to, I suppose, the officers, the people who don't look like they're completely off their face and might be able to answer some questions. Um, yeah, they're not drunk. They're, you know, yeah. um, showing enthusiasm. Or something. Yeah. Um, they're hydrated. Yeah. They're well hydrated. They're well hydrated. Excellent. <laughs> He'll kind of wander over and just kind of stand there, kind of not really awkward, but sort of imposing. But I'd wait for one of them to sort of finish their sentence and kind of acknowledge his presence being there. Um, Pointedly quiet. Yes. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you. Make a perception check. Just five perception. Let's see if you oh. get any juicy gossip. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, two success and two advantages. Ooh. Um, Spicy. So you hear the last one say, oh, I heard Lieutenant, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that Lieutenant Vassar, he's, um, Vassar, he's causing us a few problems, yeah. I heard he buzzed another one of the, the pilots today. It's like, yeah, and, and sort of, it's very, and one of them sort of realises that it sums his name. Can we help you? Oh, Hello. I was... I gave a bunch of... <laughs> sorry. I was interested in placing some bets on the races, and I want to find out some more about the races. There's this Lieutenant Vestro, Vastro, I've heard. Oh, Maybe you know him? Oh, Vasta. No, 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 no. You don't want to bet on him. You don't want to bet on him. No? It's like, bet on Captain Groover! She's here crack. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Why not the, the Lieutenant here? Is he not as good as everyone claims? Ah, he's never been here before, he just wants to show us up. Ah. Is that what he reckons? Ah, those types. I know that. Yeah. We are those types. <laughs> yeah. Reckons, uh, reckons anything that him and his lot can do is better than what we got here. Ah, it's one of them. Showboat. Yeah. Showboat. Um, Captain Grieve is gonna put him in his place, don't worry about that. Yeah, why is that? Is she. He? She, he, he. He? Yeah. Um, I just flown this place around here for 10, 15 years. The asteroid field placed first or second every year, but the first that uh, he's competed, and uh, yeah, he's got a good ship this year. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Sort of sounds like it. So, I guess you guys are a big fan of him. Yeah, yeah especially when he's gonna make it. Oh, it's a good boss and he's going to make us some good money, so... Ah, that's always good. Good we have a good boss. Even better when they bring in lots of money. I was kind of new here, so just trying to figure out <clears throat> what's going on. Can I go buy you guys a round of drinks? No? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, some Corona whiskey would be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, sure. River will go to the bar. How many, how many of them were sitting there? That's probably a, a good ah, all question. important questions. <coughs> It'll cost yeah. you 100 credits for a round. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I'll take that. I just have to um, win, and it's fine. Yes. Um, you get back, and um, yeah, one of the servers brings the drinks over, yeah. starts putting them down, and 
He'll kind of try and like go to sit with them now that he's bought them drinks. Um, they look so surprisingly like, thankful. Um, yeah. When you go to sit, room's not made. Ah. Uh, make room. Yeah, you just kind of like. <laughs> yeah, he'll just kind of awkwardly shuffle in. <laughs> In one of so them. you grab your own seat and yeah. put it yeah. on like, this uh, table. Yeah, exactly. So, sort of shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm new here. Uh, do you have you people travelled much? I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> for for the uniforms, I don't recognise them. Ah, uh, where's the security forces for Point Remus? So oh. we don't really travel. We live here. Ah. Uh, uh. To be fair, you only came the other day. Yeah, that's it. Is it very exciting here? Or to, is there much trouble? You passed by it. Nah, I know I'm stupid enough to, to cause trouble here. Uh, uh, have you seen the hanger of those, uh, well, those ruffians of sorts? Oh, yeah, hangar seven. Yeah. Where they're yeah. already starting causing trouble. Heard they shook down some of the pilots from another ship. Yeah, yeah, they were causing trouble with some of the, uh, the traders as well. Yeah. Not very popular. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I'll take that into account, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this... <laughs> uh, so this, uh, lieutenant of yours... Uh, uh, Captain. No, no, the, the guy you didn't like. Oh, he's not one of ours. No? Oh. No, he's right. one of those with the Empire. Oh. Alright. Alright. So that's why most people don't like him then, apart from being a bit of a, you know. Well, we don't have the empire here. Thankfully, we don't want to. We want to stay that way. Mm. Make a tiny little profit, and we're out the way. We're we're too small to come to their attention. Ah, right. So if I was looking to find this lieutenant, do you know where I'd be able to find him? Ah, if I did, I don't think I'd tell you. Ah, all right. I mean, it's nice drinking all, but. Yeah, I mean, that's more than my job's worth. Ah, uh, <laughs> fair. I understand. Mm. What about your uh, captain? He seems like... Maybe you give a, a holograph of sorts? Uh, some sort of autograph? Um, yeah. I don't know if he's uh, that kind of person. Uh, uh, very modest? Well, cautious. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, handing out his signature to who knows who... <laughs> They're very awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a certain amount of like. They're like leaning back in the chairs, like. Mm. Music's not. They're one step away from going. <laughs> 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 you're you're the guy in the bar who overstayed his welcome. Yeah. Ooh, that's a cool look. Uh, what is what is Brooke doing at the moment? <laughs> that's a good question. Well. Uh, I'm assuming you're still talking all the dad scene and looking for the pilot. <laughs> no, he looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of people in here, mainly human. Hmm. Uh, no one seems to be wearing, like, little pilot. Well, there are people who are wearing like little pilots in yeah. wings. I uh, will knock into someone and ask if they. We got his name, yeah? Boy came mm. here. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask for him by name. Uh, which him? The Griever or Bastard? Griever, that's it. Yeah. I don't know what you are on there. Um. Alright. <laughs> Roll me. A yellow and a red. Just, just. Oh boy. Let's just see how this goes. Basically, that's a coin flip. Uh, I have one success and one for it. <laughs> He might need the info, but he might shoot point. people, not ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying you at all. Um, so it's you're just strange. any particular type of person you're looking to stumble into? Not really. Alright, um, so you don't like stumble into like a, an Ugnaught or. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, or you just pick on a random human. Yeah. Th- this you do I look for an officer if there's one close by. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, if you specify officer before you roll, that would have made things a bit different. All right, then. All right. Um, so you did. You just stumbled into a random guy. Yeah. He's just. You didn't look for anyone in particular, so you just bumped in the face of the first one going past. Um, 
Guts feels like a bit of a dream. He's like, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. And he's like, See, he, he kind of wants to be like, you spill my drink, mate. <laughs> and then he looks up. <laughs> yeah, but you are a rookie. Yeah. So you kind of get away with it. <laughs> he's, you asked him about the Captain Griever. Um, Tell me where Griever is. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's, he's on chicks at the moment. He yes. sort of walks off. I stop them. <laughs> <laughs> you and see, like, four guys stand up. <laughs> Okay. And where did I find him, then? Where, where, where would that be? Uh, I can take you to him if you want. Sure. Just leave him away. Let me put my drinks down. Alright. So he looks at his mates and they will stand up and walk back over. Alright, this way. Wait, towards us or back to their seat? Well, he puts his drinks down. Yeah. Then they will stand up and he's sort of... Alright. They will stand up. He will go outside. You're getting yeah, you're gang piled. Yeah, we'll kind of stand up and go over to join him. <laughs> you're so getting gang piled. Got a good cop bad cop thing going on here. Oh yeah. 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 Oh. I, I like the way you think this is going. Yeah. So they escort you outside. Then like, uh, yep, yeah, the um, several officers are this way. They start escorting you to like different section. Right. This is this just following. reminds me again of last time. <laughs> 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 um. Eventually you... We're you know, a very competent party. Yes. You eventually end up in like a... Essentially like a police station. It's like a bit more militaristic. Yeah. Um, and then... Um, the guy sort of steps forward to the desk and goes... Ah, uh, this Wookiee here, he... Um, he wants to see the captain. Someone looks up and sort of... Uh-huh. Because they are a bit... You can smell a bit of alcohol on them. Especially after it's still... Like, uh... Yeah... But he decided to start grabbing us. So I think you should see him in one of the cells. Yep, there he is. <laughs> oh, that's very impolite of you. Um, they don't seem to particularly care. Yeah. <laughs> Rinnick really, really will kind of chop him, chum up here. You know, the last time someone tried to put him in handcuffs, I think they <laughs> were kind of missing an arm. So maybe not. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna end cool. up can you make a coercion check? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Are we going to get with some gonna be by an act? Difficulty to challenge one. I'm going to upgrade one of the challenges. This is a fight. We'll go through so two challenges. challenges. Oh, In a military base. I will um, use my brand new ability, Intimidating, to suffer Ooh, a strain. <laughs> to... <laughs> Downgrade one of those difficulties. Where you're watching me try and make this. something. <laughs> oh, you're going over this shit. Yeah, like, you're trying to build the spike. Well, meanwhile, I'm, like, going over the ship to make it sure it's customized to what fits me best. We have three advantages. <laughs> At least there wasn't a despair. <laughs> yeah, true. Um... Basically, the like the desk sergeant looks at you two, looks at you, tries to sum up that these sort of drunk guys, because you, I assume, haven't, from the way you've described them, apart from saying that, you guys haven't acted aggressively. No, no, no. Um, it's been overly friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Hyper friendly. Yeah. Desk sergeant sort of just looks back at both of you, and then at them, and just like, just look, don't bring your problems. To my station. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got problems, deal with it yourself. Just get out of all of you. <laughs> Just to be clear, the captain's not here there. He's here. He's not speaking to the likes of you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yes, we leave. Don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I mean, you're not dead. You're not in a gang pile. Are you not in Oh god, why are you all like this? <laughs> um, so, what were you guys up to? Well, I was continuing to make thing unless I'm done making thing. I was going over to ship it and customising it so, like, it's comfy for me. Yeah. You know, like, getting my butt right into the seat. They, they right have given me butt. no information to work on yet. They haven't hollowed back. I guess we're going to continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We're going to hold back eventually, just after your... your uh, Imagine like it's memory foam seats that's like gotta get the real oh butt pack in. You gotta like walk around seal. four times until you sit down. Oh yeah, I'm a cat. That's gotta get comfy. 
Um, I, I can't take my pilot chair out of my <laughs> ship. Push it out of here. I can't. Okay, so you guys all arrive back to this hangar. Mm. Eventually. Eventually. Um, about time, did you get me anything? Well, we didn't find the pilots, but we do have some information for you. Okay, just give me what you've got, please. Right. So this Captain Reaver, he's won pretty much every race for the past 10 to 15 years. He's sort of looked up to by the rest of the security forces here. That doesn't sound like what we were told by the big bug guy, but okay. He just shrugs. It's what they said. He's down at the uh, station, but we weren't very welcome there. Oh, very rude. Uh, uh, what do you mean you weren't very... Oh, they just told us to get out and leave, that's all. Sorry, you went to the station? Yes, we were escorted there by some of the officers. You know what? I think that's about as far about as I need to know. Anyway, moving on. The rest <laughs> of the information, this Lieutenant... Uh, Vestro? Vastro? Vasta. Vasta. Oh, the Lieutenant yes, has a name now. Yes, him. Uh, he's with the Empire. He's not very well liked. He's a bit of a showboat and sort of... People don't like him much. That might have been the ship I saw going past. If he was also testing the waters. They did say he's been... He buzzed another pilot earlier. Oh yeah, that'd be me. Oh. Well, no one likes him. Great. Great. Likes him. So he's free game to slam into a wall. Hmm. Did you at least find out any more information on him? Well, we passed a hangar... Would Rubik know what stormtroops are? I would assume so. No, he said that was the Yeah, I popped oh, it yeah, up. Okay, they're, they're pretty distinctive. Yeah. There are a couple of stormtroopers outside one of the hangars. You would have heard stories about um, stormtroopers. Okay. Just because... <clears throat> yeah, just by Despite... Oh. I mean, when they're not trying to kill Luke mm. Skywalker himself, yeah. they're, like, incredibly deadly and dangerous. Yes. Mm. They could kill you guys. Yeah. Oh, great. So there was a hangar with a few of those outside, so that might be where... Well, ship is. Okay, now we're stuck with problem number two, which is he ha you said he had a very fast ship. Oh yeah, it, it sped right around. Which means he's in the race. Hmm. Which means his ship is currently guarded by stormtroopers. Only a few of them. And they can't shoot. No, but we could distract them. And they can us. kill a lot of people. They, they do right. kill a lot of people. They know so we have to shoot them. We can just people. distract them, well, and then maybe like he can sneak past. True. I'm pretty surprisingly good at it. Does anyone have anything explosive? Yes. Probably. Yes. He'll kind of pull a uh, frag grenade off his belt and hand it to you. Right. That's much better than what I could have hacked together. Hmm. Okay, so you know where this ship is? We know where the hangar is. The ship should be inside the hangar. Good. Okay. Well, I have a plan to deal with Vix. I have no plan to deal with Griever. But at least with this Lieutenant Buster. If you can get the stormtroopers away and get me the ability to go into that ship, I can jerry-rig this bomb up to his ignition, which will go to his fuel engine, and then that way when he starts to try and fly, that'll go big boom and we don't need to worry about him. Oh. That is assuming they're not going to turn the ship on before the race. If they do, that's still not my problem. The ship's gone. True. They'd have to fix it within three days. And it's the Empire, so, you know. True. Also, when it's a Gamorrean, it's a problem, but when it's the Empire, it's fine. Yes, because the Empire hates aliens, you know, us. That's a good point. Mm. Fuck humans. I'm going to blow up the ship. Makes right. a solid point. <clears throat> and I'm not executing the Empire. I'm executing a ship, which just so happens to have a casualty. I didn't shoot a Gamorrean in the head after I literally crucified him. So don't you give me that. <laughs> Go and strap point. them, take me to the ship. He makes a good point. I'm going to mm. stay here and make sure no one touches this ship. Right. Oh, little you guys. Yep. I'm going to basically guard <laughs> the ship for a while. So you're going to stay away from the assassination of Empire yes. people. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't want any notes being Look, sent home. This, this, oh. <laughs> this will <laughs> only go well. Yeah, nothing can go wrong. Absolutely, Absolutely not at all. Not. On the way there, can I stop at some sort of terminal and look up any bounties? Um, uh, you probably could. Specifically related to any of the races. Mm. Um, lucky break. <laughs> 10,000 credits. I mean, they don't know I'm here yet. Yes. Uh, no, there would not be any attached to the races. No. Mm. And on the, like, crew or anything? 
That would sound like it. Well, the head of local security doesn't have a bounty. Um, Empire Lieutenant doesn't have a bounty. The sister of the base's administrator doesn't have a bounty. Um, the only one that could possibly have a bounty is me, and I sure don't. Because mm. if you did, I would kill you in your sleep by jettisoning your well, bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit extreme. Do you have knowledge underworld? I do not. Um, just mm. probably streetwise. Out of everyone that would have that, too. I would think it would be you. Mm. Oh. Oh. He spends your much time dancing to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was half hoping he'd go in a cell so I could finally use the Skullduggery Merit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I will upgrade one. <laughs> Give me all the light side points for flying, please. Yes. I need those. That's the point. I need those. <laughs> Oof. One of these days of despair to play with. One day. It'll one happen. Success. I bet you it'll happen when I'm trying to jerry rig the ship. <laughs> um, you don't find. A bounty, per se. Um, I th- thought I was going to do this before you mentioned yourself. Um, <clears throat> you do see a picture of a uh, calico um, Triani uh, with one eye a different colour than the other. He looks not as known as a pilot and mm. a ship thief. It's just a location. Do not engage. Do not do anything else than that. Locate the tail. What's the price? Five hundred credits. Oh, I found only five hundred. <laughs> I feel like it should be worth more than this. Look, kill a few more people than you would. Good point. Could be if you just been kept low key as well. Yeah, I've been low key for a while. Probably be lucky it's not that high. I would have sold it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys arrive at yeah, Hangar Bay Three. On the way there, should we <coughs> figure out what distraction we're going to come up with? Well, get not, help. I am not a part of the distraction. I am a yes. part of the going in stealth team. Just to get help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do get help. Do not do get help. Should we start a fight with ourselves? Cause a scene. I was just gonna watch. I, I didn't realize I had to participate. But all right. Uh, yes, we start some sort of fight. That's what we're talking about. Well, you're a bounty hunter, and I'm not. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Plus, we're sure. wrong. Sure, okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so it's basically a, a long corridor that goes between the various hangars. Uh, so <clears throat> these two stormtroopers um, in front of just a fairly standard door. Um, there's a larger cargo door that um, a little bit further down. There's no stormtrooper in front of that because the one's guarding the standard door. Mm-hmm. You can just see there anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> So, Rimek will kind of, um, sort of stagger past, or attempt to stagger, um, and just kind of yell CDDs at them, something, something, bucket heads, etc., trying to draw their attention. Really, what skill are we going to do there? Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm just going to have that work. Sure. It'll, it'll be how it's played together as a team. Yeah. Um, so, you just... Swear at him. Yeah. You see him sort of look at each other. Yeah. You see him sort of look at each other, look back at you. What are you doing? Uh, seeing this, I'll pretend to be drunk as well. Oh. And start yelling at them. Aliens yelling at them. <laughs> yeah, sure. So yeah. you're both sort of next to each other? <laughs> 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 but I'm not near him, I'm stumbling behind a bit away. So some threatening pointing going on. <laughs> So you're sort of like yelling at each other yeah. and they hit them and... Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just playing on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're sort of fairly angrily saying to go, Move along! Yeah, why don't you move along? <laughs> this is your session, get out of here! Move on, alien filth! <laughs> alien filth? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no aliens here. Just you You're the you aliens. <laughs> yeah, the invaders in this home. You and your, your kind all over the place, getting us out of our homes. See him Who do you think you are? <laughs> um, then you see the door, <laughs> like a couple more walk out. Yeah. And they essentially split up in two teams of two to try to corral you away. <laughs> now, when the door opened, how many more were inside? You only saw two. Unless you're like right at the door. 
right. they'd handle that probably differently. Yeah, yeah. No, probably no, a no, lot more of right, 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 right. them. Well, they're walking out trying to do it with those two. I'm going to try and sneak my way in there. All right, uh, stealth, um, difficulty two. Yep. We start heading towards um, alleyways, I guess. Uh, I'll okay. give you two bonus I, I because s- of them. Yeah, I suppose we'd be kind of trying to distract them while we see Biss trying to make his way in there and then kind yeah. of leave afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're trusting that. We should learn to I'm a boss. Yeah. Many boffins died so you could win this race. <laughs> I don't want any boffins to die to win this race. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, so that's um, three advantages and two fails. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a lot of dice for this. You're not sneaky. Um, you get pretty close and you look in and you see that there is this ship inside. Um, it doesn't seem to be anyone else around mm. at this time. Um, you're not sure where anyone else might be. Looks like it's a really good moment, except yep. one of the, the the troopers does turn around and go, "You there? Stop right there!" I sort of just barrel into him. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, I put the wrong seat down. All right, then we roll the ship. <laughs> <laughs> just run away. They are stormtroopers. They are not taking that shit. <laughs> I'm going to write down a uh-huh. cheers order. Oh. I got two successes. This is cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Wait, are successes. we using cool or vigilance here? Uh, you'll probably use vigilance because you want to Yeah, it. yeah. Right. Um, oh, I know how I'm getting out of this and I don't like it. <laughs> are you going to blow them up? That's what I'm going to probably have to do. Oh, boy. I hope you've got another grenade. I have too many weapons. It's throwing me off. Um, so do I. No, no, seriously, my piloting check is two. <laughs> <laughs> you only um, need to make it into the other hand. <coughs> Oops. Steal that shit. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> uh, so what did you guys get? I got two successes. Two successes. Uh, three successes and an advantage. PCs, then NPC. Three oh. PC. And one NPC because they are a minion group because fortunately they all suck. Mm. I mean, so, they are still stormtroopers, but they are the most sucky version of stormtroopers. So there are five of them or four of them? Four. Four of them. But they count as a mini group. Yeah. Yeah. You're all individual people. Which means they all have the same health. Yes. And it's the one. Yeah, it's just yes. the first person, the second person, and the third person. So, you barrel into them. Um, you just knock one sort of off the side a bit. Like, they are still stormtroopers. <laughs> um, then, PCs. Um, I'm going to start heading further uh, in now that he's given me an opening. Uh, so you run into this hangar? Yeah. Um, once you're further inside, you do see that there's like an office. Mm. Uh, you don't know if anyone's in there or what. Um, I mean, obviously, it's like a hangar. It's, there's stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, the ship is just there. It's in as what you said before. Um, so manoeuvre to get closer. Yeah. You can swap your action for another manoeuvre. That'll take you all the way up to the ship. Yeah, I'm going to take third action to get up to the ship because I am currently going one way. I can't go back out that way. All right. So, yeah. You're at the ship. I sort of move back and go, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. You're kind of short. So I have to look down at you. Are you suggesting you're short for a stormtrooper? They're all short. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you pointed, you would have got a destiny point, but no. Yeah. Um... Uh, <laughs> We're okay here. <laughs> a relevant quote. Yeah. Um, cool. Um, can you make you fail? <laughs> they don't seem to care. I know what I. I what? They don't like yeah. you. Sorry, about, like no, they don't care. <laughs> no, I'm more want to drunkenly move so they're not all surrounding me. I just want to move back drunkenly. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you're like back up here. They, they're sort of grouped between you two. Oh, okay. Don't group, I say. Group. Group. That's easy. Uh, Ruby will kind of uh, motion or me like, yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Mm. Yeah, no fun. Can I use my action as a maneuver and have two maneuvers to move away, or can I only. You can do that, yes. Yeah, yeah I think we'll both do that. Yeah. So you both move Shh. Yeah. Further away. NPCs. Um, so I look inside and see you at the ship. <laughs> <laughs> you should have distracted for longer. Um. There he is. Um, 
So you have, what do you have defense? One. Worst <laughs> case, you have a grenade. I have a defensive. We really use one. one. I have grenades. We do. I um, have one. Then medium range. You wouldn't sell me one. Oh, um, I'll just give you one. Defense. There are four of them. Oh, God. Oof. Are you modifying the dice a little? Yep. Are <laughs> uh, you downgrading their attack or upgrading your defense, essentially? Um, I they will start shooting. downgrade their attack, please. <laughs> yes, we got to kill them. Yep. Don't triumph, please. <laughs> that is a horrible roll. Thank uh, God. You guys have shot. Yep. Whoops. How hard am I shot? Ten damage. <gasps> Ow. That puts me at seven wound. So, a um, couple of the, the bolts miss you and hit the, the ship. Then it doesn't seem to damage it, but does put some scorch marks across it. Mm-hmm. Um, PCs. So, importantly, are these clearly blast rounds, like the red lasers, or yes. like the stun rounds? Oh, okay. He has run into the, an Imperial hangar. At least that's how they see it. Oh. Stop and straight at some of their equipment. Yeah, they're shooting at him. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Would you say we're in short range with these people? Like, we've gotten sort of away from engaged, yes. right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> yeah, you took that extra I'm... maneuver, so you're more than engaged away. So you're short. All right, all right. Well, we're definitely clear of each other. <sighs> Which one of these do I want to use? <laughs> Let's throw a stun grenade. That'll yep. go well. <laughs> At the stormtroopers. How about I do for that? I assume I roll a resilience. Oh, uh, well, I need to roll my attack first. Okay. Because it goes off range light. With the... They don't have defense. Okay. They have really good soak, but they don't have defense. Sure. Okay. Uh, short range, so difficulty two? Two, yeah. Two. Alright. See how this goes. Three success. Oh, I so wanted you though. to try out. I'm going to... I would oh. argue... I'd be happy to argue that that's copped. Yeah, and yeah. roll again. Well, it looks like it's on an angle like that to me. Yeah, it did. Sure. So that is four success and two threats. <laughs> um, so what does that do? Uh, well, it does twelve stun damage. Mm-hmm. Strain damage, you mean? Yes, strain okay. damage and disorient free. Okay. To them. Um. So. <coughs> So you go and you hit like the closest one in the chest and just poof, yep. flashes. Two closest ones just collapse to the ground. Yep. Um, two ones further away, both like you see them collapse their head for a second and they shake it off. It's yep. like the protective visor uh, does. Actually, no, it probably would definitely downgrade the disorientate. Oh, yeah. So they look still like they're a bit out of it, but not much. I'm right. going to shoot my rifle gun and snare one. Yep. So, yeah, difficulty two. Oh boy, why are we like this? Well, because it means I don't die next time. I mean, that's very true. I got two advantages. Ooh. <laughs> like, to recover strain. <laughs> or give them a negative. No, I'm gonna problem with strain. Valid. Hmm. And PC three. Cool. Uh, they've shot at me. I yes. am right next to the ship, yes? Yes. I'm going to try and get in the ship and close it since the only scorches the bullets off of it. If I have learned anything from Star Wars Rebels, yep. Clone Wars, the movies, Imperials don't lock their ships inside their bases. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get in the ship. <laughs> if the door's locked. You know. So yeah, you get inside this pod and close it. Am I able to do the smart thing and lock it now that I'm inside? Um... Yeah, I imagine it's probably a fairly simple lock. Yep. <laughs> you just locked them out of the house. Me now. <laughs> you locked them out the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't currently close the blast doors, so the ship's the next best thing, right? Mm. What are they going to do now? Shoot me with another ship? Um, NPCs. You've yeah. managed to miss. Uh, yeah. You shot him. I threw a grenade. <laughs> you threw a grenade? Yes. It's very noticeable. Um, mm. How many still up? Two, so. You have defense well? Yes. 
I am upgrading your attack. Okay. With destiny points. Oof. They managed to miss you still disorient. <laughs> yep. Good old stormtroopers. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that wall, that double <laughs> takes it. Oh. Uh, back up to top. PC one. What, it's going pilot first. Attempts escape, I guess. Well, you doesn't matter which order you well, do. Yeah, who, who wants yeah to whoever go. wants to go first, PC one, go. It's okay. I'll go third. It's fine. All right. Okay, All right. one of you two go first. I'll shoot my grapple gun again. Okay. Don't miss. <laughs> no, I'm gonna miss now. Just uh, despite me, you're gonna miss. Yeah. See, told you. <laughs> Two yellows, both me. I got an advantage though. One advantage, great. Yeah. Alright, your turn. Alright. I will draw. Hmm. Would you say it's still a maneuver to draw a blaster rifle as well? or just Whichever you talk next gets stirred. Yeah, it's, it's a maneuver to pull okay. okay, you're gonna get a blue dice as well because he had an abund- advantage. Excellent. Um, yeah, he'll pull his P11 blaster rifle, and uh, is it is it a maneuver to flick it to stun? Would you say no? No, it's that's a um, that's incidental. A, it's in, yeah. All right. I um, really hope you steal the stormtroopers' guns. More of them. It's the same gun. <laughs> steal more of them. He was building. They look offended, ship. and they see that you have a stormtrooper gun. That's their problem, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's basically their problem. In a moment, we're gonna yeah. have four stormtrooper so, guns. Yes, he'll s- flick it to stun setting and for fire at one of the ones that are on the ground. Certainly, already. One for everyone in the party. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't shoot for shit. We'll yeah. teach you. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Neither can they. You are. I'm lucky that I am not just going from my memory. I'm confirming whether this thing has um, life support or not. Oh. That is a very, very good point because if it doesn't, <laughs> um, I don't currently have a suit because it's on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you say that's difficulty two? Yes. Yes. Okay. I accept that. Please have life support. Hey, blue helped. I don't like that. Yeah. Those are gone. Oh, Jesus. Um, they take 15 uh, strain damage. Hang on, auto fire and auto fire? No, this is just single. <laughs> okay, they both drop. <laughs> yep. I suppose well, the quick, are now stunned on the ground. Yep. yep. <laughs> so, excellent. Does it have life support? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those. Ah, it's wrapped in all. <sighs> oh, pretty! Uh, yes. With the stormtroopers on the ground, uh, Rivik will kind of motion for it, helping kind of drag them inside. I'm currently attempting to. And tie them up. Give it to me. So you tra- drag the two stormtroopers inside. The four stormtroopers inside. Four, yep. take, tie them up, take their guns. Yep. yep. I'll have to take one of their helmets. <coughs> uh, did the ship have life support? Do you actually think to look? I am too scared of flying. Actually, that's, okay. that's a good point. Um, just make a, in a mechanics uh, difficulty too. Okay. Worst case, move destiny points. Could destiny be. points won't tell me. Ah, uh, yes, I totally bought my breathable suit with me <laughs> when I was planning to blow up the ship. <laughs> to be fair, you shouldn't just read the grenade. You, you dealt with the guard. I just. It has rear view mirrors. Um, I have. Three advantage and that's it. Uh, you look around. There's no life to put in this thing. There is no uh, rebreather or anything like that. <laughs> However, it is still a spaceship, and there is a air inside here. Very limited. Um, and you're like four days away from your home base. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's enough air <laughs> for someone that totally has no idea how to fly a ship. <laughs> <coughs> I am going to attempt to fly this bucket of bolts four days over. Yes. <laughs> Put me on the comm link and I can talk you through it. <laughs> well, Destiny points wave him out of the ship. Like there's no danger here. Oh. Well, you haven't seen any danger. No. Yeah. Well, we dealt with it. Um, sure. Roll piloting space. Um, are you proficient at all? No. Has your character ever flown a spaceship? No. <laughs> Your he was helping me. Had your character ever been through a fear of flying course where they explain everything? No. If you put me on the coupling, I can help. This uh, is this is him attempting to do it on the fly as a very bad idea. 
How big is this? Okay, it's gonna be challenge three. That is fine. Cool. Just yeah. It's like someone going, I've seen a car. Yes. <laughs> that is exactly what this scenario is. I know how to drive. I've played Mario Kart. Yeah. Yes. It's pointed in the right direction, so that's a good start. Yes. Well, I mean, that could have been a lot worse. Mm. Uh, two successes and <laughs> two uh, threats. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> so you slide across the bay forward. You sort of hit forward. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting there. Uh, so you get out of the bay. Really, as uh, <coughs> you get into here, this huge, horrible ah, noise as he leaves his two dashes. We can just kind of cheer him on in the background. <laughs> Wait, little flag. Um, no, oh, uh, okay, uh, we will get a break at that point. As I totally thought that was going to happen. 